Okay, and let's begin. Hello, and uh, thank you for joining us today uh, to talk about keeping the world moving with logistics. Uh, my name is Ethan. Uh, I work for the interstate recruitment team uh, down here in, uh, in sunny Hobart. Um, I'm also joined today by uh, Peggy uh, Shen, uh, Head of Maritime Logistics Management. Uh, and we've also got Anthony Brents, uh, Master of Business uh, Administration with a specialization in maritime and logistics management. Uh, today's agenda. Uh, Peggy will be uh, walking us through a presentation uh, and then we'll be uh, following that with a, a chat with uh, Anthony here. Uh, let's talk about the student experience. Uh, before we get started, uh, just any questions during the process uh, for those that are now just joining us. Um, thank you uh, for joining us. Uh, for anyone that has any questions, you'll notice down the very bottom there, there is a, a little Q&A bubble uh, with a few speech bubbles. Um, that is going to be the best spot to, uh, to ask any questions. Uh, we generally like to hold questions to the end uh, and we'll be sure uh, to, to go over those. Uh, but if I, I do see any questions I can answer throughout, I'll be monitoring uh, the Q&A section. You'll also notice next to that one, we have a little chat bubble as well. Uh, you're more than welcome uh, to use that also, uh, but it can be a little bit more tricky for me. Um, so Q&A is always good. Um, aside from that, I think that's about it from me uh, for now. Uh, again, we encourage any questions, so ask away. But uh, Peggy, I'm gonna hand over to you. Okay, thanks, Ethan. So I now share my screen. Uh, about the presentation. All right, so can you see the full screen? Yes, okay. We can. Um, so um, welcome everyone to uh, this event. Um, I'm Peggy Chen, the head of Maritime Logistics Management, and now I'm in a very cloudy long system. Um, so today I want to talk about the, you know, the AMC and then the course are related to the logistics. Okay, so you see this image is a beautiful long system uh, city and then we have a seaport here and that's very, very beautiful uh, scenery. Uh, very good learning environment uh, at the long system. So uh, before I talk about our course, I would like to brief Australian Maritime College although many of you may already uh, be aware of that. So AMC is a specialist maritime education and research institute uh, at the University of Tasmania. I think it's the only national uh, maritime institute doing the education, training and research. And we really deliver uh, education, the higher education from diploma to PhD. And the three main educational areas include our global logistics and maritime management, ocean seafaring, and maritime engineering. We also offer that from certificate to diploma and also the you know, industry mandate and tailor show courses through the AMC search. So this is the uh, about the AMC. So now I want to talk about the logistics industry. We know maritime is also a very big part of of the uh, logistics industry. We know logistics really try to uh, source you know, goods, manufacturing, inventory, handling, packaging, transportation, storage, warehousing, et cetera. So how big is this industry? It really plays a huge role within the world economy. If it, in terms of you know, the, the, the value is a 9.6 trillion in, in USA dollars in 2018. But if we look at that in terms of GDP, it's about a 12% of the entire world's GDP. And Australia is 8.5 of the GDP. So we see how significant this industry is. And uh, if we narrow down to look at the maritime industry, you see a lot of goods carried by sea. And that's why maritime industry is very critical to underpin international trade, to moving goods, and also play a significant role in the logistics industry. If you know the recent e-commerce and even the COVID-19 impact, you see all the online shopping, e-commerce, digital business also is a very, very uh, a big game changer to drive growth in the logistics. But 
don't think about e-commerce just by air because now more products, e-commerce, e-business re deliver the goods delivered by sea. For example, in the South China, I mean, <clears throat> in, in the Southeast Asia, I think that's the most, you know, the e-commerce growing, you know, countries, their seaports also developed the logistics hub to deal with all these e-commerce products, you know, trading from overseas to Malaysia or Singapore. And that's also very, you know, beneficial to the maritime industry as well. So all the growing, you know, uh, trend, uh, in, including e-commerce really drive the growth for the logistics industry. And that is the career that everyone would be happy to pursue. Even you are in a different industry, you want to pursue this career or you already in the industry and you want to upskill your career. So what AMC can offer for you? We offer the master degree and the most famous one is the Master of Business Administration, Maritime and Logistics Management. As I mentioned earlier, 90% of the world trade is sent by sea. So all the relevant, you know, uh, maritime logistics, you know, area also is very critical. And then there are a lot of, you know, career for you to uh, pursue. So we offer MBA and that's a 1.5 year. I mean, for domestic students, uh, we offer 1.5 years, but we also offer two years for international students. And our uh, features of the course is that it's a flexible learning. What does that mean? You could study by distance fully by distance, or you can study on campus, or you could mix. Sometimes we have students from interstate. I remember a South Australian girl, she just joined on campus and after one year she got job and then she moved back to the, her you know, state. So you could really come to the come, come on campus, you could do by distance. It's very flexible for you to change and for domestic students. And we start to in text many February, July, but sometimes students can start in November. We have a spring semester if the unit is available for you to choose. So it's a three starting dates per year. And the qualification or the entry you know, eligibility, uh, we require a uh, bachelor degree with two year working experience. However, we also recognize your industry experience such as we, um, I think in past decades, we receive a lot of, for example, a sea captain. The sea very really have a captain, you know, and all chief engineering. So they, we could recognize those industry experience, although they don't have a bachelor degree, but we recognize such industry experience as an entry pathway. So we also offer pathway programs like a postgraduate certificate, diploma, and to the MBA. Because sometimes you want to try just a graduate certificate first. So you could start with that. But even you don't have a working experience and you only have a bachelor degree, you also can start with our graduate certificate in maritime and logistics management. Once you pass, you could go through uh, to the MBA straight forward and all the credit you study can be recognized leading to the MBA. So this is the alternative pathway for those students from the bachelor degree without any working experience, you could start with the graduate certificate. Otherwise you just enroll uh, with the MBA straight forward. Um, so this is the, uh, the about our MBA. I also want to mention that we also offer master of logistics management. So if you don't want to focus a lot in the marine time, you could also be interested in that course as well. But if you want to have get some more information, just please contact me. So this is our uh, MBA uh, program. Okay, so I want to mention, I know some of you are already from the industry, but we I want to mention to you that our industry uh, partnership uh, you may know that we AMC is one of the you know our founding members of International Association of Maritime Universities. Within this association, there are 65 members across five continents. So what does that mean? We have a very global, good global networks with all the maritime universities, including all the industry. And that really driving for the education or research. And we have a lot of industry link such as the shipping companies, ports, logistics company. And I want to mention is that our postgraduate students, when they finish the MBA or the graduate, so if they 
the ICS Institute of Chartership Brokers, they recognize our uh, units 102. And if you want to get a professional quali qualification from ICS, I think that's two, 102 units will be recognized. We are still you know, discussing with them to see if they can recognize more based on, on the way. And the, the most important part is that we are, our MBA course also has been endorsed by Naval Shipbuilding College. That's a 90 billion, you know, uh, the, the government the defense project. And because you may ask why Naval Shipbuilding College, you know, shipbuilding industry related to our course, because they need a lot of, you know, managers or something, manage all the logistics flow for shipbuilding. And that's why there are supply chain issue, logistic issue. That's why our MBA course are really recognized by the Naval Shipbuilding College. Yeah. And we also have a regular activity with the uh, inter hosting industry forum, uh, with the uh, Freight uh, Trade Alliance, FTA. And also we, we, we have a lot of industry people coming in for the career expo. So that shows our, our course uh, have a good industry linkage. So I just want to talk about the careers. I believe that you're already in the industry or you are new to this. And um, our graduates, from my understanding, it's a global you know, a career. So they can work in the shipping companies, ports, agency, government, or even a logistics company and exporting, importing business. And even we have students working for the marine insurance. So it depends on your interest and also you, which area you want to do. I think I remember that the girl I mentioned that's from, I think from Adelaide, um, she later on ended up working in the port and we have a girl from Sydney, uh, she joined us, but later on she worked for DP World. And, and that's after getting, she only get a graduate diploma, but now she's still finishing the MBA. So that is uh, some career. She came from the business degree, no knowledge in the marine time and logistics, but she could really you know, did very well and pursue her career in the maritime industry. And we also have students working for calls as a logistician and also, you know, managing coordinate all the logistics. So the, the, the career is broad and it's global. It, we don't really, you don't need to limit your career in Australia. You, you could move overseas as well. We have one student, you know, working for Ollendorf and initially in recruited by the Melbourne office, but later on, he, 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 is, he is sent to Singapore. So this is a different you know, career that you could pursue. And we know logistics is a big industry. And in Australia, logistics analysis are the top 25 emerging occupations. So that's why, and then we know the industry is growing. So the career is really, really uh, uh, tremendous. So the, finally, I want to mention about, yes, we provide education and we provide training. However, we also do research. But why research is relevant to our degree? If you study MBA, you could have a two options. You could buy totally coursework, or if you are interested in any research, you could do a dissertation in lieu of three units. So what does that mean? There are a lot of topics and also in logistics maritime developing. So you may have some interest in some research topic. So I want to provide you uh, the recent research area that, that based on the project we have got by our colleagues. And uh, this not only you know, provide you some insight of a research idea, but it also uh, provide relevance to our teaching side. So recently we have the agricultural supply chains so if you look at the supply chain, you include the logistics as well. So agriculture, like we have colleagues getting the uh, funded by the federal government about a cherry export from Tasmania to China. So this is the, about the agricultural supply chain and how using the technology to trace the cherry and then to ensure the quality of a cherry uh, arrival uh, in China. And AMC now we, it's a big project here is a Blue Economy CRC, the Collaborative Research Center. So we also, like myself, also involve the Blue Economy Supply Chain Research, focusing on the renewable energy offshore and the, you know, the, the, the aquaculture together. So there are a lot of logistical issues and supply chain issues that could be uh, uh, worthwhile for research. 
and we for, of course we don't forget all the marine time research so the most recent research looking at the green shipping because all the suffer cap on ships and all this green poor green shipping and the renewable and alternative fuel to ships so this is all the relevant research that we use and research and also embed them into our uh, education so this is probably a uh, my presentation today to give you some insight about AMC and our course. And if you have any uh, query or, or request, just contact us. Thank you, Ethan. I just hand it to you. Excellent. Thank you, Peggy. That's great. And as mentioned, and for anyone that joined a little bit late, um, if you do have any questions, we'll be, we'll be getting to that shortly. Uh, we'll let you, you drive that section of this webinar. Um, again, the, the Q&A bubble is down the bo uh, bottom there. Um, but I'd also just, I, I'll, I'll just jump in and, and share my screen really quickly as well. Um, I just want to briefly touch on the process um, of submitting an application with us uh, for those of you that are interested and, and haven't started that process yet. Uh, so hopefully now what you're seeing is uh, our homepage, um, which uh, you can access just by visiting uh, utas.edu.au um, or you can simply just do a uh, browser search for the University of Tasmania and you'll find this page. Um, from here, we like to think it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is just hit the apply button there. Uh, once you've started that, you'll then be uh, uh, given the option to, to apply through a range of uh, options, uh, whether you're uh, a domestic or, or local um, uh, undergraduate applicant, a uh, postgraduate, even for those that might be international applicants, as well as uh, our research degrees, as Peggy was discussing there, the process for applying for a research degree can also be found. Um, once you've clicked on your bubble, in this case, we're going to go with an undergraduate applicant. Uh, you'll be then sort of talked through that process and simply again apply now. Once you've started that, you'll be uh, uh, given the option to, uh, oh, we'll get rid of that. Um, you'll be given the option there to uh, create an account uh, simply by clicking on the new applicant sign up down the bottom there. We've got a, uh, a separate uh, little video that I can share with everyone today as well, um, just to go over the actual process of applying. Um, so we will uh, we'll be sure to send that out and uh, circulate that with you all as well. Uh, but now uh, we'd like to have a chat with uh, Anthony here. So Anthony, thank you for joining us today. Um, I guess a little bit over to you in, in a sense. Um, I was hoping you might be able to just tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're studying. Yeah, um, so I'm doing a Masters in Biz, um, Masters of Business Administration, Maritime and Logistics Management. Doing my, I've started, I've started my first semester. I uh, just, oh, sorry, I just finished my first semester. Um, I've been in the maritime in the cruise industry for well, over ten years now. Um, look, we work now with a whole bunch of cruise ships that come into Australia doing the turnaround and cruise operations for when ships come in, um, and also providing shore excursions and tours. So. A little bit different than um, the logistics side, but you know, moving moving people pretty much is what we is what we look after. Excellent. And um, you you're obviously in the industry, um, but why did you decide to do an MBA? Yeah, I've been looking at um, doing an MBA for quite a while, um, and so I was looking at a whole bunch of different courses, you know, different courses and different ways of doing it. And so I came across this um, this one with maritime and logistics. I got you know with a passion with maritime. Um, and the, in the subjects and the, in the coursework, I thought it, it was just a great fit. Excellent. And uh, again, you, you've been in the industry for a while, but why do you like it? Um, obviously, the, uh, the logistics and everything, obviously, it's, uh, it's a unique industry uh, to be in. So uh, what is it, in, I guess, just in general that, uh, you know, is appealing to, to you in this industry? Uh, well, I've worked on board ships for a um, number of years. Um, uh, you know, I worked with Disney Cruise Line, um, on board, um, so just the, the people. Um, I like the fast-paced nature of it all. Um, yeah, it's just. I think. I think it's just a great industry to be in. It's an exciting industry. It's a. It's a growing industry too, especially with the cruise cruise industry and in the maritime industry in general. It's just a growing and exciting industry to be in. Excellent. Yeah, a really good point too. I think um, it is a really growing industry, and, and as uh, Peggy was saying, with with the way the world is at the moment, um, you know, more and more uh, people are uh, you know not necessarily always going out or not able to go out, and so um, you know, uh, supply and demand, and there's definitely a lot of demand uh, out there. I think at the moment for for people, so um, it is uh, yeah, a growing industry. Um, this year, as as mentioned, obviously has has thrown a few curveballs at, at many people in industry and study uh, due to the COVID. 
COVID-19 situation. Um, how did you go balancing um, work, life and study um, this year, but um, also how do you sort of plan to, to yeah, I guess handle that um, in, in the next year as things, I guess, slowly get you know better uh, here in Australia? Yeah, well, I mean, you now industry's been hit, been hit really hard with COVID. Um, it's you know it's, it's sort of devastated the cruise industry. Um, for um, yeah, for studying, um, I might look to be honest. I probably wouldn't be doing this course if it wasn't if it wasn't for distance. Um, you know, having the flexibility to sort of be at work and, and two seconds later to be at uni, um, and then click on do um, you know, um, way of doing it for me. It's, I find it very flexible. So anything that makes it easier to study. Sorry, Anthony, I don't know if uh, I think that might uh, be Peggy and I both experienced that, but I think you're just breaking out just a little bit there. Oh, sorry. Okay. It's okay. Slightly bad connection. So we might just sort of cut back. Sorry can about that. Um, yeah, I can now. It sounds a lot better, a lot clearer. You're not freezing up. But um, yeah, still having a little bit of an issue there. Ah, uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> technology, yeah? yeah technology it's always the case uh, and always always the case often when when going live with a webinar so sorry always folks um, but all all good so hopefully uh, we'll, we'll try and press on so um i think you made a, a good point um you know studying online um, the, the flexibility involved, the, the fact that one moment you're at work uh, and seconds later um, you've got your, your study student cap on and you're, uh, you're, you're studying your studies. And so to be able to work that in and, and not have to necessarily commute to and from a campus um, is ideal for, for someone in your situation that's, that's working uh, as well as studying. Um, so I think that's, um, yeah, a, a great way of, of you know, handling um, the sort of, you know, as I say, sort of uh, situations that we're being thrown at this, this year, but also just in general, being able to, to have that flexible um, study experience and, and study sort of, I guess, almost lifestyle is, uh, is key. So um, no doubt that's going to be the case for many people. That's what they're going to be looking for. And so I'm glad that we can, uh, we can offer that. Um, yeah, especially uh, now, now with the way the world's changed, you know, mm. everyone's working from, you know, a lot of people working from home, you know, remote working is, is, is becoming the norm now. So um, I think people are getting quite used to the fact of doing work, work like this. And I think it sort of translates well to, to picking up these sort of courses. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I guess uh, the final question, um, but for anyone that's, uh, any of our prospective students out there that's interested in doing the course that you're studying or just generally uh, studying um, with the University of Tasmania, do you have any advice you'd like to, to pass on some wise words? Um, honestly, I, I wish I would have started sooner, to be honest. <laughs> um, I had, um, you know, there's always that little bit of fear at start, well, can I, can I do it? Do I have the time? Am I, am I, gonna, am I, am I going to able to commit? Um, but it really has been great. It's been a great experience. It's been so easy. The coursework has been, has been great, easy to follow. Um, you know, professors, lecturers like P or great to work with, um, always, always available. Um, yeah. So I just wish I would have done it sooner, to be honest. Yeah. So don't wait. I'll uh, get in there. I guess it's the uh, advice we've got there. Don't wait. Um, don't be afraid. Um, I think yeah, you, you make a good point too. And and, and uh, Peggy would agree that um, we're a pretty approachable bunch. Um, we, we're pretty keen. And so if anyone's got those those pre-study uh, jitters, uh, anyone that's sort of you know being held back and, and afraid they might not be able to to manage the workload and things like that, as uh, we've discussed, there's plenty of uh, flexible study options. Um, we're here to have a chat uh, and talk to you about those options as well. So. Don't be afraid to, to get in touch, to uh, to reach out, and, and we'd love to obviously have you here. So, yeah, great. Thank you, Anthony. That's uh, been good. And uh, we might come back to you uh, for those, again, uh, joining us. Uh, if you do have any questions, um, fire away, please. Uh, we'd love to hear from you as well. Um, 
there aren't any questions uh, that we've got just yet, but Peggy, I did uh, want to go back, uh, wanted to cover off. You mentioned uh, those, those uh, um, industry partners, um, and I think you make a, a good point that um, the, the AMC have quite a few. Um, and so how, how are we using those industry partners um, in the classroom when teaching our students? How are we sort of connecting students to those, those partners? Yeah, I think, for example, we before the COVID, we normally every year we have the um, industry, student industry forum. So we invite, you know, industry uh, speakers, I mean, collectively. Uh, for example, we ask the Petri Terminal Brisbane. And because, you know, regarding the partnership, their women in logistics cadetship, because they, they, their cadets did our graduate certificate program. And that's why, you know, that's the connection. So they come to the, we invite a shipping from the NL, for example, Petri, Port, and also logistics company. So give students a holistic view of the logistic industry and in the, in the different knots. And we also uh, arrange students visiting um, the port, the airport, and the uh, warehouse housing in the facilities in, in long distance. So, and also burning such like that. Although we could not travel to interstate because of cost. But we, I think we, our staff also use a very innovative way, such as because online is very easy. So we invite, you know, the speakers from interstate and spoke to our students through Zoom or through the, our collaborative, you know, space. So this is how we really connect to industry. And, and that's why our industry, the NL is really happy to provide scholarship to our undergraduate students. And we also receive a lot of like agility logistics also sponsor give a prize or scholarship to our uh, good, you know best performance students you know at the end of the year so this is all our industry network and how they really contribute to amc and support to us excellent thank you peggy uh we do have a question here that um i believe you'll uh, be equipped to answer so um great question is the uh, complete uh, mba program online uh, or are there any circumstances where physical presence at the Australian Maritime College is required? Uh, for example, the uh, dis uh, dissertation. Um, also, um, with second question, which is great uh, in, in the one, also, uh, Peggy, what would you recommend uh, for an MBA uh, student wishing to go down a pathway to PhD? I think we covered that a little bit, but we might cross back and, and sort of yeah. go over what, what you'd recommend there as well. Yeah, I think you could do MBA totally online. No matter you, no matter you do coursework or, or you do dissertation, because we we always we have a lot of these ten students in the industry. Later on, they also choose a dissertation option. So this is the only option that could you uh, let you be eligible for applying uh, PhD study. So if you want to do PhD in in the future, you need to consider. But, you know, unless you already have honors degree, Australian honors, which is that you already did a research component, because you need to have a 25% of the research component from your previous a master degree or maybe the honors degree, so that like you are eligible to PhD. So, so yes, if you, the second question is that uh, you need to do uh, dissertation option in order to apply for PhD. So this is my answer. And for MBA mm -hmm. course, you could do online. Even doing a dissertation, you could do online. Yeah. yeah, and so I guess that's um, uh, a good point. So the, the MBAs do often, uh, most uh, of the MBAs will offer um, a, uh, an MBA by coursework um, yeah. or an MBA by uh, research. And so if you go down the research pathway, um, that will lead to PhD. Yeah. Excellent. And that first question, uh, which I, I believe we've yet yeah, we've addressed also, which is uh, uh, our MBAs are offered online. Um, if you're ever unsure, please do reach out or, or visit our website in the course unit handbook yeah. there. There's some information uh, on there. But again, uh, please, by all means, give us a call, um, send us an email. Uh, we'd be happy to have a discussion about that as well. You are required to on campus by attending graduation. Yeah, <laughs> you're that's most it. The welcome. Fun part. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we, we have, celebrate. Yeah, and now we open the border. We have students from Queensland that she says she is coming here to join the graduation in December. 
Yeah, (laughs) which is very, very exciting because obviously this year we've not been able to do that. And so we've got some uh, very excited uh, graduates who uh, are intending on on jumping on a plane. It's another requirement. (laughs) Yeah, it's another requirement, but I just said as a joke in that you could come for graduation. It's not a requirement. You don't have (laughs) to, but we'd love to have you. Yeah. Yeah. If you never visit AMC or Utah, that's the opportunity for distance students to come to the campus. That's right. Excellent. Uh, We'll give it a few more moments to see if uh, we have any additional questions. Um, Peggy, was there anything that you'd like to, uh, I guess, any final advice maybe, uh, what you'd like to suggest as well to to any students uh, thinking about studying in the uh, logistics uh, and maritime sector? I think one point I want to, you know, um, come up that Anthony mentioned earlier, because he was a little bit, you know, afraid that if he could do well or something. And I received similar information from, you know, a different distance students. In particular, they already, you know, left the university for a long time and they work in the industry for a long time. And they, 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 they were so, you know, scary when they say, oh, picking up the books and study. But my comment is that, I realized and found out all these kinds of students perform very, very well. And, and as I mentioned, those, you know, uh, Petri, the Kadeshi program, those, those girls, they really did very well. And even, you know, in a postgraduate graduate certificate, even, you know, they were in the industry, but, but they, because probably, I believe all of you coming to the master program, you really want to study because you think that even after so many years, you can't bet. That's your intention. That's why you always can perform very well once you get familiar with the system and how you could do. So I think I just encourage everyone, don't be afraid. You know, your industry experience really help you a lot to do this course. And even you are just a you know, university leaver in front of a different course I want to mention. We don't limit it that your background should be business or something. If you are really interested in this master degree, we can accept different bachelor degree because I always say like a med in pharmacy, they also need a logistics if they want to do that. So that's that's a different you know uh, area, but you want to specialize in this you know maritime logistics. And so my final comment on the all these special industry with students, don't be afraid, just join and then you will get there. Excellent. Thank you, Peggy. And that is a really good point. Uh, regardless of your background, uh, we want to hear from you. So uh, whether it's yeah, from a completely different industry, uh, in many cases, uh, an undergraduate degree in, uh, in another uh, field um, can meet the requirements. And so uh, don't be afraid to reach out and find out uh, yeah, what options uh, await you here at UTAS. Um, well, if there are no more questions, um, I'd like to, to thank uh, Anthony and Peggy for um, joining us and, and all of our attendees as well for, for coming along today. Um, we, uh, we appreciate uh, your questions. We appreciate you joining us and uh, we, we encourage you to get in touch should you have any questions. Um, we'll be sending a follow-up email around to everyone as well as a recording. So if you uh, missed anything at the beginning, uh, you'll, you'll be welcome to, to rewatch that later. Uh, so thank you all and uh, best of luck for the rest of the year. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.